Now that you've gotten your new GoPro Hero 10, and you've learned how to navigate it correctly, the next thing that's probably on your mind, because it was on my mind when I first got my GoPro, was what accessories do I need as a brand new GoPro user to actually get the most out of my GoPro? Hello, I am Wanderer001, and this is really a short list of accessories that I purchased for myself for the GoPro Hero 10, considering that this was my first actual GoPro ever, I needed to kind of round out my accessories for it. So I figured I would share with you the accessories that I thought first and foremost I should get to make the utilization of my GoPro Hero 10 all that better. As with any electronic device, having spare batteries is key. The GoPro itself only comes with one battery, so first off, get yourself a spare battery, sold separately, and then get yourself the dual charger that comes with the charger and an extra battery. That will give you a set of two extra batteries, giving you three batteries in total. For me, that's kind of my sweet spot. I will always have one in the camera. If two are dead, they're charging. I'll have the one in the camera and then I swap them out until I'm left with two dead and then charge them again. The charger itself comes with a, a USB-C cable, but no wall wart. So you will need to have another wall charging device to plug it into. And here you can see they just sit very easily. You find your metal piece there, metal piece there, and then you place it on the charger. It is kept in place through pressure. And then you have two LEDs at the top here that will go glow green once your batteries are fully charged. So that is always first and foremost for me, extra batteries when you're getting an electronic device or a camera in this case. Next, if you're getting a camera, well, you're gonna want one, some way to hold that. If you don't plan on holding your GoPro like this the entire time, you're gonna wanna get something to actually attach it to. In this case, GoPro starts coming out with some interesting product names, but this is their Shorty tripod. It is a compact plastic tripod that allows you to mount your GoPro using the included system by simply unscrewing one portion slipping your GoPro into place and then tightening down your screw, which is much easier to do when you're not trying to do it around a camera, but you tighten down your screw and that will hold the GoPro in place. And it is important to be able to hold your GoPro in a variety of different manners. So the shorty actually helps with that instead of having to grip it on the sides. One other trick that the shorty has is it actually is a telescoping tripod. So when it is in its collapsed form and you only have the feet, you're looking at 4.6 inches. When fully extended, you're looking at a tripod that is a full 8.9 inches in length, so almost nine inches. The plastic itself, as you can see, does get a little sweaty, but it is lightweight enough and grippy enough that you can use this for, I'm gonna say 90% of what you're gonna use your GoPro for, especially if you're just interested in setting up those nice, cool shots really quickly. If you've got your GoPro already attached to it and you're using it that way as a selfie stick, you can just flip your feet out and you're good to go really quickly. The one problem is when you have it attached to your shorty, it becomes much trickier to use some of the other GoPro options that I would recommend checking out. Next of which is the chesty. And this is going to be the GoPro mount that you use when you're trying to get a POV of something, whether you're biking or using a snowblower and filming it for YouTube. You're gonna use something like this. The chesty itself is elastic and fits around most bodies. It is adjustable. The back of it is mesh and padded, so it is breathable and quite comfortable, but you'll notice that the front plate here is a little different than what you had with the shorty in that now you have GoPro's more universal clip mount here. So this flips up and this is actually like a pinching buckle style. So if we take and we slide that in here, you hear it clip into, click into place. And now we flip down the little rubber toggle here and this is mounted onto your chesty. Again, you simply unscrew the tension screw and you have your GoPro Hero 10 right here, which you can then slide into place much easier than you could with the shorty, and then you screw it into place. Benefit of this style is if I needed to use a different GoPro mount, I could simply remove this portion here and move it to another GoPro mount. What I'll show you by that is 
chesty, good for you know, your POV everyday stuff. We'll flip this over here and show you the aptly named Handler, which is a different style GoPro stick compared to the Shorty. But the reason I left the GoPro here on this is because the Handler here uses the same style mounting as the Chesty, slips into place, and there you go, you would just adjust the positioning of your GoPro. And yes, that's not really going to get anything, but it's a faster mounting style than you do with the shorty stick. So just be aware, again, of what your plan is filming-wise before getting things that I'm talking about. Now, the handler here is a case in point because this is definitely meant for people who are going to be using the GoPro in or around water. The handler here has a very thick, foamy grip to it and a place that you can wrap this around your hand so that if you're not using the GoPro, it dangles off. If for whatever reason, the GoPro, as long as it's on the handler and properly secured, falls into the water, the handler will actually float and has a big orange top to it. So as the GoPro is floating upside down because the camera will be heavier than this, you can easily spot the top of the handler. The handler itself is seven inches in length, so it does give you a, quite a bit of versatility where and how you'd like to grab it. You will notice that it does have this semi kind of angled top to it, so you will have to adjust accordingly depending on how you're holding it. The back of it is kind of flat, so your thumb can kind of rest there fairly easily. And I myself don't go out in the water all that much, but I wanted the option to, if I did go and use my GoPro anywhere in the water, I wanted it mounted to something so that I would not lose it because it's an expensive piece of equipment, as you know. So if you're filming around water, definitely want to consider getting the handler. Last but not least is the GoPro camera media mod. Now this is not going to be something that is for everybody. This is for a person with a specific use case and that specific use case is you are going to forego some of the waterproof capabilities of your GoPro Hero 10 in order to get better audio quality. As you can see right there, there is a USB-C connector and that USB-C connector connects inside the GoPro which is which has the charging USB-C. So in order to use the media mod here, you will have to remove the door from the GoPro Hero 10. But what that will allow you to do is plug in and access the built-in front and rear facing audio of the media mod. Notice you do, have, you do have the power button and the quick shot button, as well as two sets of cold shoes, one on the top, one on the side. But part of the reason that that's plugging directly into your GoPro is, well, one, if you don't really care for the audio that you get from this, you have the ability to flip open the doors here, and there you go. If, if you have a microphone, such as I'm using right now, like a lavalier mic, you can plug it right in, or let's say you've got a microphone that uses USB-C, you could plug that in right there. Or, right up at the top, you've got mini USB, not micro USB, which I thought was a little odd, but not only do you have the ability to select a different microphone should you choose, the built-in microphone also does come with a windsock that you can kind of put right on there to help dampen any wind that you might get in your shot. You'll notice that the bottom of the media mod is open so that you can still use the built-in feet of your GoPro Hero 10 when using the media mod. There are handles that you'll still be able to use with this and other mounts. Just know because this door is plugged directly into the door of the GoPro Hero 10, you're not going to be getting the complete waterproof housing that you get when the GoPro is in its natural state. This is very water resistant, but does take away the waterproofing of your GoPro. That's why I'm saying you are sacrificing some of the capabilities of it to get better audio. And there are people out there who want to use the GoPro Hero 10 as their primary vlogging camera. And this would be something that you can consider. As I said before, this is just a selection of the mounts that I thought would be useful for me with the GoPro Hero 10. As I said, my first time with a GoPro, I figured this smattering should get me most of the shots that I would want using the GoPro Hero 10. 
If there is a mount or other option that you think I missed or should have checked out, let me know in the comment section below. Likewise, if you're like me and this is your first GoPro device, let me know what mounting options you decided to go with over something that I have. Or if you're a GoPro veteran watching this, let me know, again, something that I probably should pick up because it'll make my filming much easier with the GoPro Hero 10. With that being said, I have been Wanderer001. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like as that will help other people find the video as well. If you like what I'm doing here, you can always help fuel the next review by buying me a coffee, link in the description below. Last but not least, if you want to be notified when I upload a new video, you know what to do.